channel uh this channel is going to be about trucking and investing i wanted to come on here and show you guys um uh, the startup costs and what i was going to cost you to get your uh, trucking authority up and running you know um the first thing which you're going to need you're going to need to start up your llc i live in tennessee that fee came out to be 300 bucks your state may be different um but uh here in tennessee the startup fee is 300 bucks uh, the second thing which you're gonna need, you're gonna need to uh, to go on the FMCSA and uh, and file for your authority. The uh, the fee is uh, it's about three hundred bucks, but uh, I didn't know how to do all the paperwork, so I pay uh, DAT. You could pay somebody, you could pay somebody to file for your authority for you. So I decided to go with DAT. DAT DAT uh, charges me a thousand bucks. Uh, out of that thousand bucks. That three hundred dollar fee for your authority came out of that thousand bucks. Uh, my BOC three, which was thirty bucks, came out of that fee. Uh, then you you gonna need the UCR, which is sixty three bucks, which came out of DAT fee. All right. The next thing what you gonna need, you are gonna need your truck. That's obvious. You know um. The truck I ended up going with, it was a 2014 Freightliner Cascadia, which it had, on, at the time, it had 485,000 miles. It came out to be $47,000. I put down $6,000, and the payment came out to be $1,200 a month, which I already know I overpaid. You ain't got to gotta tell me uh, down in the comments. I already know I overpaid for the truck, you know, but at the time, uh, that's what I ended up going with. Uh, the next thing which you're going to need, you're going to need your trailer, which, uh, I end up paying, uh, 10 grand, $10,000 cash for an 03, uh, used trailer, flatbed trailer. Uh, the next thing which you're going to need, you're going to need you some insurance. Uh, you're going to need this insurance. You, um, I paid, uh, 16, 1690 down for uh, my insurance. And then the payment came out to eight hundred and forty-five dollars a month, which yearly was ten thousand one hundred and forty dollars a year. Uh, I know it's a little cheap on the cheap side compared to what Progressive offered me. They offered me like maybe what was it like about thirty grand? Thirty grand a year was ridiculous. You know, um, if you want to know this insurance, you know, just come in uh, below. I'll let you know this insurance. But one thing, one note that uh, this insurance, they uh, required, they put me on a probation period, which required me not having more than one truck on the authority, but I can have how many trailers that I wanted on this authority uh, for two years. Uh, I wasn't, I'm not planning on adding the trucks on my own to my authority to after the two years anyway, because I plan on building up my fleet. I plan on building up my money before uh you know i add on to the fleet anyway but you're gonna need your insurance before your authority goes active so so uh, make sure you once you uh start once you file for your authority make sure you you uh, start getting some quotes for your insurance the next thing what you're gonna need you're gonna need your rp plates for your truck uh which mine it came out to 1575 which isn't bad, you know, uh, the next thing, which you're going to need, you're going to need your IFTA, uh, your fuel tax, you know, um, mine came out to be $25, uh, then I estimated it to be, your fuel tax to be probably about a thousand bucks yearly, you know, um, then the next thing, which you're going to need, you're going to need your 2290, which is your heavy highways tax, it's 550 uh, a year, then you're going to need you some decals uh, on your truck. Uh, I went to Walmart. I went the cheap route. I went to Walmart, got me some some mailbox lettering. Uh, paid about 25 bucks for the lettering. Slapped them on the truck. Look good, you know. You don't need to go out and buy you some $500 special lettering and stuff. Unless you want to. You know, you want, unless you want to look professional. My look professional, you know. Just don't have a logo, but it look, look professional. Um, then next thing which you're going to need on your truck and your trailer, you're going to need a DOT inspection, which mine came out to 170 bucks. 
170 bucks. You can go to any TA, Petro, Flying J, your mechanic, anybody. Anybody can do it. You know, you know they got to be certified, but they can do it. You know, mine came out to 170 bucks for the truck and the trailer. Uh, you're going to need a fire extinguisher, which my truck came with the fire extinguisher. And you're going to need some triangle, which it came with that too. So it didn't cost me anything. Um, You're going to need your ELD. Uh, you're going to need ELD if you got a, a, a 2000, I want to say it's a 2000 or older truck, 2000 or newer truck, which mine is a 2014, so I needed an ELD. Um, that fee, it came out to 220 for the hardware, it's $35 a month, uh, which is 420 a year. You know, I paid $35 a month because they keep up with my if the miles. Uh, you know, I keep up with the mileage that I run East State, and I just file for my if. Uh, the next thing which you're gonna need, you're gonna need you a GPS. I already had one. You're gonna need your trucking GPS. Make sure you get your truck GPS, not a car GPS, a truck GPS. You know, um, I I didn't pay for one because it came. I already had one, so so zero bucks for me. The next thing which you're gonna need, you're gonna need you're gonna need to enroll into uh. A random drug screen program. Uh, mine came out to be four hundred dollars a, uh, a year, which I filed with OIDA. You know, that was with the membership in the drug screen program. You gonna have to enroll into that. Uh, the next thing which you gonna need, you gonna need a a pre drug screen. You gonna have to do a pre drug screen for you uh, get up and run and run your first load. Uh, I paid seventy five bucks for this. I went to the local clean to charge me seventy five bucks. Did a did a, uh, a drug screen. The next thing what you're going to need, you're going to have to figure out what, how you're going to find your loads. You know, uh, I didn't have no customer at, at the time, you know, so uh, I ended up paying for a load board. So so the load board came out to be 150 a month, which is $1,800 a year. Came out to 150 a month. I went with Truck Stop because I run a flatbed. Truck Stop is good for flatbeds. DAT is more on the side for van trailers, you know, so I ended up going with truck stop. They got more loads for uh, flatbeds, you know. In the future, you know, I'll be doing some uh, load board videos, you know, showing you guys, uh, showing you guys uh, the pay uh, in certain areas, how the load board look on truck stop, you know. So if you got an area that you want me to uh, show you, you know, just, just leave it in the comment and I, I'll show you that area, all right. The next thing, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to enroll yourself into the, the Clearinghouse Drug and Alcohol Program, which uh, it, I want to say it was like 50 bucks. I can't remember exactly, but I know it was cheaper than 50 bucks, so I'll just put 50 bucks down. But you're going to have to run this. You're going to have to run this at least once a year. Um, you're going to have to do this uh, once a year. Uh, then I highly, you don't need this, but I highly recommend you to get your truck cam uh i have a front face facing uh truck cam and i also have a cam on the side of my truck both sides of the trucks you know just in case a car run into me you know or you know you know how these four wheelers do they jump out in front of you and, and, and slam on their brakes and you end up hitting the back of them they'll claim that you were following them too close so you're gonna need your cam you know just just for your sake you know I, I highly recommend you get you a, a truck cam. So uh, these are all the costs which you're going to need, you know, your first year. You know, uh, I broke it down, you know, this this, this is uh, what I paid my first year, you know, my weekly payments, or what I paid out. All right. The, uh, your fixed costs, which is all these fees, what I just showed you, you know, all these fees. Except for your truck and your trailer, you know, but the rest, you know, all the fees came out to be three fifty weekly. That's what I took out of my uh my payment. That's why I, I paid every week, you know. I I set aside for that, you know, every week. Then my truck payment, I set aside three hundred dollars a week. Then my trailer, even though I paid cash for it, you know, I paid myself back a hundred dollars a week. And then maintenance. This is a big one. You know, maintenance. Oops, I didn't cut myself out. All right, here we go. Maintenance, that's a big thing, maintenance. You know, uh, you're going to want to, uh, I don't know how you're going to do your account for your maintenance, 
you're going to always have maintenance. So I advise you to take out something weekly for your maintenance. I personally did $300 a week, you know. Might be more, might be maybe lower you know I'm, I'm pretty sure you're gonna spend lower than 15 grand a year you know in maintenance you know but i like i like to aim for the high side you know so 15 grand that's what i hang, aim for a year to spend on maintenance you know so it came out to be 300 dollars a week you know this this is what my typical like fixed cost is where it was for the year for my first year you know besides a uh, few you know uh, I can run a few numbers with you guys. I'm gonna give you some uh examples of what your what your pay will look like weekly. You know, here you go. All right, you're going to uh a quick example which which you could be making a week. You know, um, uh, this is basic numbers. You know, basic numbers. You can get this easily. You know, if you ain't getting two dollars a mile, I don't know what you're out here doing. You know, two dollars a mile is basic. You know, uh, you should be at least averaging two dollars a mile. This, that's on the low end. You know, on the very low end, you shouldn't be running for no dollar and fifty, no, no a dollar and five, nothing under two dollars. You know, shit, really nothing on, under two fifty. You know, you you got your own truck in the door. You should be doing aiming higher than that, but. I say say all this, say this, you should you should hit these numbers easily, you know. So here go the example of you if you're doing twenty five hundred miles for two dollars a mile, that'll come out to be right at I cut myself out again. But here we go. Oh I gotta cut myself out. Hold on, let's see if I can get myself back on the screen. Here we go, right here. All right. So if you're doing 2,500 miles for two dollars a mile, yeah, bear with me. This is my first video. I'm learning this uh, new thing. You know, bear with me. Uh, if you're doing 2,500 miles times two dollars a mile, you're coming out with five thousand dollars. That's your gross pay for the week. Gross pay for the week. You know. That's that's average. That's on the low end what you'll be doing a week. You know, that's on the low end. Uh well another thing what I tell you that I basically runs out and backs. So I'll be home probably about two to three nights throughout the week and off on the weekends. And I do this easily, you know, easily. Do five grand a week easily. So uh here we go. So your fixed cost, right? Your fixed cost is you add all this up. You know, I call this all fixed cost is six fifty, seven fifty, a thousand and fifty dollars. So you minus a thousand and fifty dollars. That's your fees. Thousand fifty bucks. Thousand fifty bucks. All right. Your fees. All right, then in the obvious, the last thing what you're gonna have to minus, you're gonna have to minus your fuel. Everybody got fuel, you know. You, 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 your truck ain't running on air, <laughs> you know. You gotta pay fuel. Uh, I went on the low end, you know. I average six, six, six and a half miles per gallon, and right now I'm paying two dollars twenty five cent. So I decided to go with the five five point five because some people got. Uh, you know, older trucks now and again five and a half uh, miles per gallon, and uh, some people uh, live up north or anywhere. You know, they paying probably about three dollars a gallon. Right now, I'm only paying two dollars and twenty five cents a gallon at the moment. Pops, you know, I don't fill up at the uh, the pilots, flying J's, and stuff like that. You know, because the fuel is it's ridiculous higher. You know, like right now, I can get fuel for two twenty five. Which I look across the street at the pilot, it's two eighty five. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. But uh, anyway, you know uh, how you come up with your fuel is take out your calculator, your handy dandy calculator. You know your calculator, your calculator. You know you got twenty five hundred miles. You can divide that by your truck 
whatever the fuel mileage you're getting, five and a half, getting five and a half. That's how much fuel you're going to burn for the week. All right? That's how much fuel you burn for the week. So you time that by uh, how much it costs a gallon. So it costs you three dollars a gallon. Three dollars a gallon. So you didn't spend uh thirteen hundred and sixty three dollars uh for that week in fuel. All right, you minus that. Thirteen sixty three. Thirteen sixty. That's your fuel. Fuel costs. All right. All right. All right, you minus all this by your five thousand dollars. These are all your fees. These are all your fees up here. All the fees that you gonna have to spend. Uh, the truck note, your trailer, and plus uh, you putting aside three hundred dollars for maintenance. I recommend you. Now I highly recommend you. If we put set aside a little money. For some maintenance, cause you're gonna have some maintenance. You're gonna have some breakdown. You know, you you might go a month or two, you know, without some kind of breakdown, you know. But eventually, you're gonna spend some kind of money in maintenance, you know. So, so I highly advise you put some aside for maintenance. You know, I always calculate that in my in my costs. You know, so you take your five thousand dollars minus your thousand and fifty fees. Come up with that. Then you minus your fuel. And this is this would be your take home pay. Take home pay before taxes. Before taxes. Before taxes. Before taxes. See me. I always, I always factor in 25, 25%. That's what I'm uh, going to end up paying at the end of the year, 25% of my taxes. You know, that's what I always calculated to be 25%, you know, me personally. You know, you might be more, might be less, you know. You know if it, if it's less, you know, at least at least you got a little money, you know, left on the side. If it's more, you know, you just add a little bit more on to it, you know. So, so you time that. By point seven five, cause this this minus the fee which you're gonna pay the uh the government at the end of the year. So this is what you'll be left with after taxes, basing it off my numbers. This is what you'll be left with, basing it off what I would pay after taxes. After after taxes. Which isn't bad, you know. Which is it's it's some damn good money, you ask me, you know. Uh I don't know no companies paying nineteen forty after taxes. You know. Yours might be more, might be less, you know. But uh here go an example of my numbers with the uh six miles per gallon paying two twenty five, you know, for fuel, you know. Sixty-five. Instead of you paying thirteen sixty-three, you would pay eight sixty-five in fuel. Eight sixty-five in fuel. All right. So you take the five thousand, because you still gonna have those fixed costs. Still gonna have that five thousand dollars. Minus ten fifty minus eight sixty five equals three thousand and eighty five before taxes. This is before taxes now. Three thousand and eighty five. Three thousand and eighty five. Now now as use as example, you pay twenty five percent to the uh to the government. 
and all time seventy five. So this is what you'll be left with after your taxes, after you take out for your taxes. You know, which is which is some good money. You know, if you ask me. Now now I'll let you know this that I I got a paid off truck. Now I paid off my truck this year. You know, I got a paid off truck and a paid off trailer. So four hundred dollars I would keep in my pocket. You know, uh, that's the goal. You want to uh, eventually pay off your truck so you won't have a truck note or a trailer note. And that's when you start keeping the majority of all your money. You know, that's the goal. That's the point of, you know, owning your truck instead of leasing your truck. You know, uh, you got a uh, low cost. You know, the goal is to you want to get to a point of you having the lowest cost of operation possible. You know, the lowest operation uh, possible. You know, that's how I run, low-cost operation. You know, uh, I learned that from, uh, what's that guy on YouTube? Um, HT Logistics. You know, he said uh, he run a low-cost operation. You know, I wish I would have found this channel uh, before I ran my authority. You know, I, I didn't I didn't run into his channel until after I ran, uh, got my own authority probably about six, seven months in, you know. But I always had the mindset of running low cost anyway, you know. But I'm glad I ran this with this channel. He gave out a lot of good information on uh, how you run your own authority, you know, the truck you need. Oh, he, he gave out some real good information. But um, I'm going to give you an example of what this basic pay will look like with no truck note, with no trailer, you know, running, running my numbers, you know. Now these are basic numbers, you know. These numbers are are pretty much low on average. You know, you can get these numbers, you get these numbers every day, pretty much. You know, two dollars a mile is nothing to get on twenty five hundred miles. Twenty five hundred miles, it's nothing to make five grand in a uh, in a week running your own authority. All right. Basically, what you basically all, all thing you're gonna do is take the thousand and fifty and you minus four hundred dollars I paid. I don't have a truck note and I don't have a trailer note, so your fees would be six fifty instead of thousand fifty. Your fees would be six fifty. You know this. It might take you a year. It might take you six months. It might think you can take you three months to pay off your truck and your trailer. You know. But uh, it took me a year to pay off my uh, my truck. You know, I already paid off my trailer, so it took me like a, uh, it took me a year to pay off my truck. So, uh, so yeah. So you take the five thousand minus your six fifty in fees because th these are your fixed costs plus maintenance. You know, you're gonna have maintenance. I I, I keep saying this, but uh. Just to let you know, you know, I'm trying to beat this in your head that you want to set aside some money a week for maintenance. You want to set aside money a week for maintenance. You know, some money, you know. I don't care if it's $100, $50, you want to set aside something for maintenance. You're going to have some breakdown. Trust me, you're going to have some kind of breakdown. You know, it's best to have something than have nothing to the side, you know. I highly recommend you set something to the side for maintenance. So okay, you minus the six fifty, and then you minus the fuel. We already calculated the fuel. You know this, this is what your fuel will be able to look like in that week. So you minus eight sixty five. So this is what you'll be left with after tax. I mean before taxes, you'll be left with thirty four eighty five. Then you're going to take out that 25%, which you're going to put to the side for your taxes. Now, I highly recommend you now to put money aside for your taxes weekly. You know, you don't want to get to the end of the year or get to April and you got to file them taxes. You ain't got money to pay your taxes. You know, you don't want to be one of those. I, I, I didn't hear horror stories of guys on couple hundred thousand dollars in taxes because they haven't filed their taxes because they couldn't afford to file their taxes. They ain't put money back for their taxes. Now, you want to put something back for your taxes weekly. 
I don't care if it's 25%, 10%, 5%, something better than nothing, you know. But I, I recommend you starting with 25%. Whatever you get paid, put put back 25%, you know. Times by So after your taxes, you're looking at... 2613, which isn't bad, you know, which which isn't bad at all, you know, if I must say so. And you're going to time this, 2613, you're not going to work all 52 weeks. <laughs> if somebody telling you you're going to work 52 weeks throughout the year, you know, they lie. Don't listen to it, you know, no. No way you're going to work 52 weeks throughout the year with a truck, you know. No way, you know. So, so I, I base my numbers off 40 weeks throughout the year, you know, cause I'm going to take vacation. I'm going to have a breakdown here or there, you know, so I always base my numbers off 40 weeks, you know, 40 weeks throughout the year. Look what I base my numbers off, 40 weeks. Thanks, I'm on the call. So, so I'm back. Um, so this is your, uh, your numbers. This is what an example of your numbers would look like, you know, if you worked those 40 weeks and you did this basic numbers, you know, if you if you done these, <laughs> if you do $5,000 a week, you know, based off no truck, no, no truck, uh, no truck, no trailer payment, you know, it only, it only take you about a year, you know, to, uh, to pay off your truck and your trailer, you know, if you buckle down. So you're going to be looking like 104. $104,000, that's after taxes. You know, it's after you paid your taxes. Now, that's after taxes, which is some, which is some awesome money. You know, I must say so, you know, this, this the whole point, you know, running your own authority. And then, you know, after you... You know, after you you run this, you get this, you get it down pack. You know, get everything down pack. You run your numbers to the T. You know, you got this truck up and running. You paid off this truck, paid off this trailer. Then you add on another truck and another trailer. You know, if there's something that you want to do. But I basically want to get up to probably around about two, probably around about probably three to five trucks. You know, three to five trucks. You know. This year was a good year for me, you know, because I paid off this truck. I paid off, I paid off two trailers, and I bought an extra truck. Ooh, that extra truck, ooh, it's costing me some money right now. But, but you know, I got two trucks and two trailers. You know, I do another video on the uh, on the other truck. You know, but uh, if you like this uh, content or this uh, video, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You know. Uh, I I be dropping videos on you know on uh my truck pay what I make throughout the week. Uh, I I try to do some some low board videos, and uh and another thing you know uh, I be doing some videos on investing you know investing money into the stock market you know, but uh but uh but yeah yeah. Yeah, well, like, like, comment, and subscribe, you know, uh, let me know if you uh, need anything, let me know if you got any questions, you know, just leave the, uh, the comments uh, below, thank you.